All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use one of these SD adapters for a micro SD card. So anyway, I've got one in this sports camera and I'm gonna pop it out. And to get it out, I need to use a tool because they didn't engineer this thing properly. Now you're gonna notice this is my micro SD card. This is a Samsung 64 EVO Plus, which is a pretty good card. You get 64 megabytes on it. And um, the way it works is you just take the card and you're just gonna slip it right into this little sleeve here, just like that. Just push it in, bam, ready to go. Now you take this and you're gonna put it to the back of your Mac. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just shift this around. And here on the back of the Mac, you're gonna see this little slot here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your adapter with your micro SD card. You're gonna put it face up and you slide it right there and push it in, bam, done. And that's it. Now we can uh, use Final Cut Pro or Image Capture or our photo app to load these images, whatever we've got in here, whether it's video or pictures, onto our Mac. So let's just swing it around. All right, so if you notice, it basically automatically um, opened up Final Cut Pro and it also opened up the import window, believe it or not. And here is our, uh, let me show you, this is our uh, our device. It says no name because it's, you know, from the SD card. And then if you look over here, here's our clips. So now if I wanted to import those clips, all I'd have to do is come down here and just hit import. And I've already done that before, so I'm not going to save these. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now, also, if you wanted to, you could go to image capture and image capture will pop up and then you could just go ahead and click on no name and then it would open up all of those clips. And if you wanted to download them, you could just hit it right here and you could choose where you want to send them by clicking this box here. You know, you can put them in photos, you can put them in document, whatever, you know, whatever you want. I'm not, I've already used these, so I'm not going to do anything with them. So I'm just going to close that out, but that's how you do it. So anyway, that is how uh, you use the SD card adapter. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos. Peace out.